Hi, this is Emma, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. A growing number of scientists have started to wonder whether life is all just an incredibly sophisticated simulation. That is, are we living inside an advanced computer simulation of some kind? Although the debate has been raging for years, Neil deGrasse Tyson recently gathered a group of eminent scientists in an attempt to put the theory to bed, or at least discuss ways to test it. And the mathematical evidence seemingly points to the fact that our lives could be nothing more than an elaborate computer game style existence. Let's take a look. Beyond that, but the, the guy who really started forcing scientists to take this a bit more seriously and gave this idea a bit more scientific street cred, I think, is uh, Nick Bostrom, my fellow Swede, Nick Bostrom, who published this very dr dry academic article just pointing out that. He's a philosopher. Indeed, yes. indeed. <laughs> and uh, he pointed out that uh, it seems like the laws of physics allow us to build amazingly powerful computers, way beyond what we have now, solar system sized things, which could simulate minds that would feel just like us. And then he went on to say, you know, it seems overwhelmingly likely, if you don't wipe out here on Earth, that in the future, the vast majority of all computations and all minds will be inside of such a computer. And, and therefore, he said, the, if almost all minds are simulated, we're probably simulated. So that's the pro argument. Now, it sounds good, but... So uh, just to clarify, so what you're saying is, if, if simulating universes becomes a pastime uh, among those who have access to, high powerful, to highly powerful computers, and we are in a universe, we are probably in a simulated universe, even if one of those universes is actually real. Right. That's basically that a fair, that's the fair summary. Yeah. And if, if you're not sure at the end of the night whether you're actually simulated or not, my advice to you is go out there and live really interesting lives and do unexpected things so the simulators don't get bored and shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> Although the panel of scientists were sometimes at odds with how such a model could be tested, they all concluded that the fact we were inside a simulation was in fact a real possibility. James Gates a theoretical physicist at the University of Maryland on the panel, did not want to believe in the idea but was forced to buy maths, he said. He was solving equations a couple of years ago about quarks and leptons, when he discovered codes that make browsers work. Why were they in the equations that I was studying about quarks and leptons and supersymmetry? He said. He said that that was the reason why he could no longer dismiss the idea. He said he found clear evidence for the fact that we indeed live inside a simulation, but what kind of simulation he is not sure. What do you guys think? Do you think we live inside a computer simulation or do you think that there is no real evidence? Stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective, to keep up to date with the strange and unusual. And please give a thumbs up, if you liked the video. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, have a careful look at the world around you, maybe you might just see the computer code.